Let's have a look at how negative numbers work when you raise them to a power. Let's look at these th three numbers. Um, and we're going to use our basic idea of exponents, which is, if in doubt, write it out. We're simply going to write out what they mean in order to help us work out what they're equal to. So 2 to the power of 4, we know that that is just 4 twos all multiplied together. And so we should know by now that, that is 16. Now if we go to this one, note here the negative is not affected by the 4. What you've got is a negative in front of the number 2 to the power of 4. And we know 2 to the power of 4 is just 16, so we've got a negative 16. But if we want to write it out, just for completeness sake, what we'll see is we've got a negative, and then we've got 2 to the power of 4, which is that, and so what we've got is negative 16. This one, however, is very different, because what you've got is a negative 2, that's being raised to the power of 4. So it's this whole thing that's raised to the power of 4. So what you get is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So let's just recap our negative multiplication rules. Negative times negative is positive. Then we've got a positive multiplied by a negative, which is negative. Then we've got a negative multiplied by a negative, which is positive. And 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16, so we know what we've got is positive 16. Okay, try this one for yourself. Pause the video and try it for yourself. Okay, so did you say this is negative 5 multiplied by negative 5? multiplied by negative 5. Negative times negative is positive. Positive times negative is negative. So you've got negative 1, 2, 5. Um, and what about if we had minus 1 to the power of 6? Well, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six negative 1s all multiplied together. And can you see what you're going to get here is negative times negative, that's positive. Negative times negative, positive. Negative times negative, positive. So in total, you're going to be positive. And 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is always just 1. So we're going to get positive 1. Can you tell me what you think is going to happen with negative 1 to the power of 7? Pause the video and think about the answer for yourself. Did you get that this would just be negative 1? Because what you're going to have is the same situation as here with just one more multiplied by negative 1. The pairs are all going to end up as positive 1, and then you're going to multiply by a negative 1, which gives you negative 1. So you should be able to then quite easily think about if it was negative 1 to the power of 90, well, these are going to, you're going to be able to make loads of pairs of negative 1s multiplied together. So you're going to end up with positive 1. But if you had negative 1 to the power of 103, you're going to have a whole lot of pairs. And then you're going to have one extra negative 1 in your multiplication. And so it's going to be negative 1. 